Hello and welcome to a new video about controls. This time we are going to talk about PLCs, Introduction to PLCs, Programmable Logic Controller. I draw what a PLC is. So basically a PLC is a neutral thing. There is not any controlling logic inside. This is the PLC. PLC means programmable logic controller. PLC. In German it's called Speicherprogrammierbare Steuerung, SPS. Okay, so PLC, it has inputs. There's an interface with inputs. There can be several inputs. Yeah. Digital, analog, whatever. Yeah. Different PLC types do have different input types. Yeah. Some are even configurable. We're going to talk about this. These inputs can be read by the PLC. Uh, they are transferred to the PLC. And we have some outputs. Also here different type of outputs can be uh, might be analog outputs, voltage, current, digital outputs and so on. And the PLC is then writing to these outputs. Okay. That's the standard behavior of a, of a control, right? Have inputs, have outputs, and in between there is some logic. Yeah. Should not be new. Now, what is indeed new is that the PLC is somewhat like a computer. Yeah. So there's a processor inside, there is an arithmetic logic unit inside, and so on, and so on, memory, pack, pack, pack. So here the logic is done in software. Okay. In the beginning of PLCs, this was just to make the logic smaller. You know, we had relay logic, this did something, yeah, Woo, combining pa, 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 electrical controls. We talked about this. Electrical controls and the PLC woo, shrunk the needed place simply. Quite a lot. Yeah. And then people realized, hey, there are a bunch of advantages with such PLCs, right? Because uh, now PLC is the main control variant. Yeah? Simply because it's advantages. Yeah? With the same hardware setup, totally the same hardware setup, I can uh, Without changing any hardware, which needs time, I can implement a new or improved control mechanism yeah? simply by changing the software. Okay. So, wiring logic are usually independent. Okay. So this is the nice thing, one, one very nice thing. Uh, then, of course, this makes it much easier, yeah? commissioning. Yeah? You know, you cannot, you can try, but you will for sure fail to fully understand what is happening at the thing. Yeah? Commissioning, there is always popping something up. Yeah? So, the, this little change in the program, or another thing, yeah? you have a machine which can produce different kind of things. Yeah? You, you're, I don't know, bakery, yeah? and you can produce this type of bread, and this type of bread, and this type of bread. You have to change the receipts, you have just to save, uh, change the logic. Yeah? Times and so on needed, change the logic, it's good. Yeah. Also, machines 
which can be have different tools, for instance, yeah? then logic might have only to change. Yeah? That's easier. Also, some parts of the logic they are reused, so we can use the benefits of software development, like using libraries and so on. Yeah, so there's the possibility of software libraries. Software libraries. Good point. Good point. Uh, of course, the where in a PLC. I mean, it's a computer. It's semiconductor style. Yeah. So there is no switching elements like like uh, uh, relay. Some relay here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Relay. Uh, it simply is more reliable. This was stopped at a long time, but it is more reliable. Uh, also, the switching times of it is integrated uh, semiconductors, yeah, they are much less. Yeah, so, so it's semiconductor. Less wear, switching time. compared to electromechanic relay, uh, better, better, better. Uh, or as I said, the volume, yeah, volume is better. Volume to logic ratio, much better. <laughs> There's no compare. There's no compare. Uh, I can write the software even before the real thing exists. I can write the software, check the software, make already tests with input and output, simulate different scenarios at my desk. I do not need the, the, the cabinet. Yeah? I do not need the full structure of the control system. I just need the PLC and I can already test. Yeah? So, Test, test without, test without hardware. Some programmable logic controllers, they even allow to test without an actual PLC. So there are soft PLCs running a simulation on, a PS, on your PC available. Yeah. Documentation, a lot of documentation can be if the program is written the correct way, the, a lot of documentation can be automatically generated in an output list, variable lists, logics and so on. Yeah, documentation automatically. Automated documentation. Yeah, also, big benefit. Yeah. If I always have to redraw the wiring, yeah, there there's a lot of manpower inside. Also, power, uh, power consumption, less PLC, less power consumption. Less power consumption. Uh, you know, some PLCs allow to exchange input and output groups. Yeah. We will talk about this, that some PLCs are modular and we can exchange a single input card or a single output card or something like this. So they are usually, usually hierarchical. So if I need to adapt the PLC a little bit, I can do it by just changing a little tiny part. And also, since the PLC is a computer, a communication to a control system, something like this, yeah, is much easier. Because it is already a computer. The data is already there. I need not to digitize anything. It's already there. The PLC can run. A protocol can talk via bus systems and so on. This is also easier than PLC. Yeah. So this is why PLCs 
are now widely used simply. Yeah? There is almost no field of control where no PLCs are used. However, there are some downsides. Yeah? They should be mentioned. PLC yeah? usually not PLCs will work in a serial manner. This means the need to input, the, then the need to process, then the output. They cannot cope parallel inputs. At a link, at the connection programmed logic yeah, with relays or something like this, they will react always, anytime. Anytime they will react, a PLC needs to write the outputs, then read the inputs and so on. There is a time lag. So, a disadvantage is serial. Serial processing. What the PLC in reaction time sometimes makes a little bit slower. So there's something changing, PLC needs a little bit because it has not recognized it up to now. Okay, PLC needs a little bit to react on the input, but then it's fast. Mm -hmm. At small, really tiny control things, uh, PLC might be still might be too expensive. Uh, so the costs with the appropriate software and so on. There, a four-digit number in euros, easy. Yeah. There are also small PLCs, which just a couple of hundred euros. Uh, but they're very limited. Yeah? If you want to really control something a little bit more complex, uh, there are costs. Yeah? There are costs. Costs more than a bunch of, of release. However, can also more. Likes it. Advantage list is long. Uh, according to costs. You should not do the mistake and just consider the hardware costs. Yeah? Since the hardware is only a husk yeah? and you need to fill it with logic, there is quite some time running into this logic, into the programming effort. You should not underestimate this. The hardware costs are usually low. Yeah? The same thing applies to other control methods, but since they are not that usually not that complex yeah it's here going to extreme yeah so costs for programming hardware and software and programming of course this can be really spent yeah it's special trained personnel who are able to program this. Yeah. That's the downside. You see, PLC started quite a long time ago. Yeah. Meanwhile, the trained personnel is usually no issue. Yeah. Everybody knows how to deal with computers and a little bit programming is also in everybody's school. Yeah. So, like I said, there is a reason the PLCs are used that widely. This is what PLCs are in principle, uh, how and their benefits and disadvantages. Next time we are going to talk about uh, how this thing is now really working. Yeah? We have a look inside those boxes. We'll look a little bit inside and then we also talk about what different type of PLCs are available. Okay. For this time, say thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.